We're in the shop tonight making one of my designs. I typically don't offer these for sale, but I've had some requests and I'm gonna make one. I don't make them because one, they're expensive and two, they're pretty involved to make. But uh, here we go, you can see what it takes to get one going. We're making a version of this and there it is. And you can see we have to stack up the pieces to make it work. When we put in the cross piece, this gap and this gap have to be just right. Otherwise it won't fit or it'll be too loose. The design you just saw is the Gravity XL. Now I'm going to finish the video with the Gravity Hook 3.0. They both have the same process, they're just a different shape. We got our stainless plate loaded up and clamped down. Now we just gotta start the water jet. If you're not familiar with what a water jet is, it's a machine that shoots out a high pressure stream of water, but they add garnet, it's like a sand, into the stream and so it wears away the metal at a very high rate. You can see how slow it's moving along the path. I still gotta cut all that, and that's gonna take 72 minutes. Do you like it? It's looking like we're doing pretty good. Looks like everything cut nice. Pop this out. There we go. Yeah, it's looking super clean. All right, we got all our parts finished up. You can see they're nice and tumbled. Got a good looking finish on them. Got our spring pressed in. Now we gotta sandwich these the right way. Then we'll take our shackle, place it on there, do it that way. So there's that. Now we gotta take our hammers. We'll take the center one and flip it. Okay. Take our first screw. Place it through the center. Okay, now we'll take our assembly here and we'll just match it right up. I'll tighten the three nylon lock nuts until they bottom out and then I'll back them off a quarter turn. And that should leave enough place so that it can open and close just right. Let's get this cleaned off. Now I'm using some of this stuff. It's called Monkey Sweat. This is my favorite stuff. This isn't sponsored, but if you want to get some of that stuff, you need to go to tcgm.com. Again, not sponsored, just a really good product. What we can do is turn this mechanical claw into a grappling hook by placing it right into the jaws. You can see it holds perfect because of the tolerances and the special cutouts there. And what you'll do is take this ball detent, this pin here, and you'll place it right in here. There we go. Now I actually designed this so that it would have a roll to it. If I place it down, if I had my rope attached, I can pull it and it rolls right over. And that's just to help you grab onto whatever you're trying to drag. All right, let's pop this thing out. And then we can store it right here. There we go. You can see the 3.0 is very different than my original gravity hook design. And if you'd look at the measurement between here compared to here, if we were to do that with this same design, this thing would be huge, it'd be very long. But I wanted it to be compact, especially when you open it up, this is how you would store it. This is actually the same size as the case for an iPad mini. So if you have a cloth case for an iPad mini, it slips right in, you can zip it right up. Oh man, there's way more than you can see. <laughs> There is so much that goes into making one of these things. And that's why I don't sell them anymore. <laughs> but I think I might turn it on again. Maybe if I can sell a few of them this weekend, I don't know. If you are interested in picking one of these up, I think I might list 10 of them. Though I don't know if I would do the water jet again, I'd probably go with a laser. But you can go to awesomeforsale.com. After those 10, I'm not sure if I'm gonna restock them. Oh, I almost forgot to explain this little difference here. 
With the Gravity Hook 2.0, it closes all the way. It even has a overlap right there. Since we have this compact design, we needed a trade-off, and that is the opening gap between the jaws. That is supposed to be there. Otherwise, if you didn't have this little spring here that rides this little hill over here in the part, right? It would just hit the ground and it wouldn't open. It would just hit and do nothing. So we have to spread it apart just a little bit. And these two curves help force it apart. Okay. Here I have the cord I would normally use in teaching how to tie a bowline. line. There we go. Helps you see the two different colors. But today we're going to use it to tie off our gravity hook 3.0. We're going to use an anchor bend. I'll go through once, go through twice. I'll go around my standing portion. And then I'm just going to go right back through those turns I made. Okay, pull that tight. There we go. The 3.0 is bigger, so it'll grab onto items that the 2.0 won't. You can see how little it would get. Bring down our gravity hook and then grab our price. 